race unfold at PWR, what does that look like for you? Uh, well, we're going to manifest destiny. <laughs> What's going to happen on Sunday? Yeah, what, no. what is going to happen? <laughs> what will happen? Uh, I'm John Borstelman. My name is Isabel King. Eno Zavialov. Zach Allison. Brennan Wirtz. Whitney Allison. Now I'm nervous, but nervous in a good way. I think it's just different. Um, I think like that canyon, that descent on the backside is, it's pretty rocky, it's pretty gnarly. You kind of want to pick your lines. It's easy to do when you're alone, but when there's other people, uh, it'll get interesting. So I'm hoping uh, that I'm not the one that goes down, but I think people will definitely be going down there. So trying to keep it upright, try and stay kind of within your, um, your confidence level, but also knowing like you're going to have to take some risks. There's bike choices that you make where you're underbiked for some parts so that you can be faster on the road parts. Um, and that's what makes this race fun. You know, I'm like a, a bigger guy, kind of a, a diesel as they say, you know, so, so I benefit from, from the race being harder and, and chunkier the all, all day long rather than, you know, when the little guys can, can take their time to recover on the smoother section. So I, I think the bumpy stuff will may, maybe give me a little bit of an edge. We'll see as long as it's not too technical. I'm not, not that great of a mountain biker, but, but we'll see. I, I love this race. I had a blast last year. It's, it's definitely sort of the, it's the the technical sections of BWR are the most like technically challenging of, of any race that I've done. Last year was my first Belgian waffle ride. It so happened to fall literally one week before my own event, Foco Fondo. So I was a total mess, totally overheated, squeaked into the top 10 in the last couple of miles. So I'm kind of looking forward to having a little bit of redemption, having it be at a better time of year, a lot cooler, yeah. um, and kind of knowing what I'm getting into. I kind of had a little bit of a freak out yesterday. I did a four hour ride trying to hit as much of the course as possible. And I <laughs> felt really nervous for myself, but then looking at the course as a whole with how hard it is overall, I think that that still does play to my strengths as just somebody who has a lot of watts for an infinite amount of time. Mm -hmm. So I think it's still pretty good for me. The dream scenario for anyone is to go over double peak solo. Um, I think, yeah, I'm quite a bit heavier than some of these other competitors. And so, yeah, maybe I could like get away from them somehow on that descent, but we're gonna be screaming down that anyway. Like there's not gonna be much of a gap there. And then coming back into the campus to finish is gonna be kind of tight and tricky. So I think, I think it's been, um, you know, I know Pete won it last year, kind of going solo away on that climb. And I think that'll be a pretty decisive moment that late in the race. I think that's kind of where it'll really be set apart. Um, for me personally, I think it's just going to be kind of staying out of trouble, um, monitoring and managing the bike and the equipment and the tires and everything um, through all the uh, the early sectors of dirt. And then as we get into Ramona and things start to get a little wild, um, just making sure that the bike's, you know, working underneath me and that everything is good and um, that I'm trying to take safe lines and, and handle the bike uh, efficiently and effectively. I mean, I think a lot of us are just sort of figuring it out as we go. Um, I think it's hard to have like a two-year two plan, five-year plan, ten-year plan um, because there's so much variable. The scene is just changing so rapidly around us, which is for me a big draw. It's really exciting. Um, I feel like we're at this really interesting point in the sport where the the scene has developed to a certain point where there's a lot of races the calendar is packed there's a lot of interest there are tons of people showing up to these races with all sorts of backgrounds and skill levels um and i'm just really excited to see what happens in the coming years with the sport it's not necessarily a gravel race uh there's 60 percent road uh so i think that's a factor um i think the way the course starts this year might suit uh, almost like a mountain biker just okay. because of how uh, kind of fast, technical, so much climbing right away. It feels like uh, the start of a, a mountain bike race. 
um, but then the descent they're descending on the road might suit a road cyclist um, so. Just being from here like help with like local knowledge do you think yeah i mean i've ridden a lot of this stuff and and even when i rode uh when i was a roadie when i when i rode a road bike i would always venture out on the dirt um and uh like black canyon like all that stuff i would always try to get away from the cars and go towards uh the dirt for me it's a little less stressful because uh it's a little less random and and it's more about just power and nutrition and preparation. Um, and road racing to me, uh, it, it, it seemed like it's, it's a lot more about the team, uh, team tactics, team roles. For me, it comes like year to year of like, you know, where I'm at coming into the race each year. So like last year with the pandemic and everything was just for me really hard mentally to stay motivated without racing, races are getting canceled, it all kind of like, war on my ability to train and race so i'm excited this year to be a lot more fit and come into it with a lot more fitness and put a little more pressure on myself to actually perform well yeah um with everything blowing up last year and it being kind of my like worst fitness year it's always like funny to be like yeah i can do a lot better than this like we'll have to wait till next year when i actually get a training camp in and stuff like that but yeah. um I have no idea how it's going to go down. There's a lot of other bike racing going on that are drawing people back to their chosen, you know, professions inside of cycling. So, you know, Whiskey 50 is taking some of the mountain bikers out. So, um, I think the beginning is going to be nuts as far as how fast we're going to go to the first trail section. Luckily, it's not going fast down Del Dios into a U-turn over a curb. Right. It'll have a lot more stuff in there, but there's still a lot of pinch points as far as after we go up Twin Oaks, after we do Double Peak, doing that first descent, it's all going to come back together. Um, but kind of how you make that happen in the easiest way possible is going to depend on where you are when you enter the trails. You do all Someone's you definitely going to try to go for it there and get some sort of gap, which I don't think makes any sense because there's a long headwind section and then a pretty steep road climb out of there, but it's a handful of miles of just super... But super yeah, that's what we kept hearing about. Yeah, yeah. Deep. And there are a couple of ruts where uh yep i definitely am optimizing for the road i would say <laughs> with this setup well there's um, plenty of road there is plenty of for road. bwr yeah just gonna take it a little easy on the on the gravel i'm not gonna push the limit too much there but i think that'll be okay because i feel pretty confident on gravel like sections on uh when i'm under biked you know yeah i do it quite a bit up in the bay and just doing a lot of mountain biking and stuff growing up and how often do you okay. clean your bikes i clean my bikes often really yeah like once a week like usually <laughs> every time i ride oh. i would say Here's a citrusy delicious ponzu to put on there on all the things. Hot sauces. Various sauces. Various all the sauces. Berries. You got to Utensils. And hungry people. Chris, what'd you ask me? Did you see that? What do you need? What do you want? Oh yeah, bring the salt over here. What are we doing? I'm going to clean the floor. Thank you, Ellen. <laughs> yeah, so you've never done this. It's my memory capsule. You don't do anything of life. Them. I'll download them before Africa mode. Okay. What do you like about them? You like the I've never done it. No, no, for her, but like the timing. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you'd probably be in Wales. Morning, gentlemen. Hi, Brian. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even miss the sticker. So, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, a little bit of luck as well. All that hard work, as they say, that time, less than 2,000 people have run an official form of the mile to give you some perspective. In the house! <laughs> And Raylan Noose in the house as well. It's hard to tell from the as we 
Oh, I am hearing Rasan Bahati is the, there. He is. We're as we are now minutes away, and ladies and gentlemen, 2006 Tour de France winner Floyd Landis in the house. I hope you've had a chance to go by and uh, say hi to Floyd and take up five minutes of his time. That's always good. I need to be happy. At least start with everyone. Yeah, for sure. We'll see how it goes. Just it's kind of far. Yeah, man. Oh, that's cool. Morning, Alex. Morning. How are you feeling today? Good. Feel good. All right. So. This year you're riding two bicycles. Is this no, how it works? No photos. No photos. This is Keels. <laughs> ah, Keels, yeah. Just holding it for him. Yeah, he's in there taking a wee. Nice. Couldn't bring his bike. There he is. There he is. Morning, Keel. How are you? Yeah, fabulous. Good uh, luck today. Yeah, we're wearing shorts and t-shirts here. It'll warm up a lot. No, I mean like it's already warm. I'm yeah. shocked. Yeah, <laughs> I feel good. We're in trouble. I got somewhere at the end of I'm Wayne, by the way. Go get him, Brennan. And now, racing out of Fort Collins, Colorado. She's been on the podium of Allison. Go, Whitney, go. Huge star in our field. Good luck to the And now, a world tour Come on, Brennan. Let's go, Alex. Let's go, Ian. Come on, Brian, get up. There you go, there you go. Come on, Mo. Let's go, Mo. Nice job. Watch that right-hander. Let's go, Alex. Yeah, Brian. There we go, it looks like Sandy Florin. There we are. Nice job, Brennan, you're doing great. Come on, Alex, come on, Peter. Thank you. 
Let's go, John. Nice job, Brian. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Taylor. Come on, Zach, let's go. Let's go, we know. Come on, Brian. Right there. Get up there. Come on, Flavia. Nice job, Mo. Martiel. Here's Alexi. Let's go, Alexi. Run it. John Borsley. Nice car, bro. Borsley, man. There we go, Brennan. Come on. Let's go. Watch the ballers, guys. Come on, Dylan. All right, Mo, it's just you and Flavia, nobody else. Come on, Brennan. Yes, nice job. Come on, Peter. Come on, Alex. Friar. This is John Borstelman and Brian McCullough coming through. Alexi is putting the hammer down. Let's go, Alexi. Let that pad tie work for you. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Alexi. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Come on, Alex. We are with second place on the road. Alex Howes, he's making his way toward his final slopes of Double Peak. Come on, Alex. You got this, buddy. Let's go. Second, right at the line. Third, congrats. Yep, third. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Open Care Foundation, baby! <laughs> oh. How'd that last bit feel for you up Double Peak? That was brutal. Yeah. Yeah, I was with um, uh, Matt uh, from the Specialized Toyota team, and uh -huh. we were kind of just working together. I don't, I don't think any of us had any energy to attack or anything like that, but we just kind of kept it steady, kept it going, and uh, yeah, ended up catching uh, Howes right Yeah, where right did on you the, catch Howes? Right back onto the main, uh, like, four lane So after hill. the dirt set. After the dirt. Okay. We all came together in that turn. And it was just a drag race? Yeah, it was just like we were just tucking and cruising. <laughs> I don't think anybody had too much in the legs, but yeah, pretty much. The way we won in was the way we finished uh, right. in that little tech, the last technical bit. So, uh, but yeah, what a what a tough day. That was that was brutal. Uh, Alexi, whew, he's a strong guy. Jesus. <laughs> with a broken wrist out here. That is epic. So Canyon rider Peter Stantner, a two-time champion of Belgian Waffle Ride. Peter rode with a lot of heart out there. The heart of a lion. From Peter Stantner. And that's a top five ride. So he will find our pony. That's, that is something else there from Peter this year at the Belgian Waffle Ride. So that rounds out our top <laughs> five. Alexi Vermillion for the win. Happy Beer is silver medal winner. Bronze medal is the Griffin Easter. Alex Howes for fourth. Really and Peter Stetna for fifth. Howes and Stetna grew up as 12 years. I call these guys friends, together. man. And then they do that to me on that downhill. Continue to be in no, the it was a... Uh, it was a fun day. I mean, uh, I was having a lot of fun at the beginning and kind of making the race my way, but um, that downhill was just too much for my wrist. It, it hurt a lot, so I had to back it off, and then uh, I rode along the last half. But um, I kind of had the bit between my teeth, and I was actually able to kind of come back to fifth place, which is a nice little consolation. But um, it was a great day out there. This is Lance Hayden. Nice job, Lance. 
Legion of LA, and I heard some stories about Lance on our descent. Uh, he blew some minds out there today. Such a hard day out there. I mean, it was pretty much up the first climb here, just like full gas, and from there it was just any chance anyone could like put the pressure on, they were. Um, and then, yeah, I I don't know like what the name of it was, but way out there, uh, it was just like this washboardy gravel climb, and uh, yeah, and dude, I mean, it just blew the field apart, and uh, I think it was a group of five or six of us that made it over top of that and into the double track descent. Um, I had slightly wider tires than everyone else in that front group, so I had a bit of fun on the downhill. Um, and then rolled it in and man, like with probably 40 miles to go, I was uh, out of gas for sure. But Did you awesome. have any wheels to, to fall yeah, had, Well, you know what? So Pete uh, came and caught me and I got to ride with him for probably like five or six miles and share the uh, the workload into the wind a little bit. Can but can back, Steve, if you want. Yeah, yeah. Aside from that, it was uh, just brutal headwind the whole way back. So, yeah, it was good. Sorry, I didn't win, Michael. <laughs> Two mechanicals, man. Oh, no. I know. Did he? What did he tell you? Uh, what did he tell you I was he gonna do if was, I didn't win? He was gonna. Oh, if you won, you were gonna drink a warm bottle of beer. Oh. How about if you lose, do you want to drink a warm bottle of beer? No, I thought that was the deal. Was if I lost, I was gonna do that, but it what, doesn't sound like with a deal a that we one? made. Uh, I'll get you whatever you want. How about that? Oh, I'm I'm good, man. I'm just glad to be. You here. are good. I'm done with that, man. One of these times you're gonna win this or one of the other ones. I can feel that. I How do you feel so. about eighth, John? Yeah. I mean. It's Eight? not what I was hoping for, but considering what happened out there, I was solo for about three hours, so. Yeah, stoked on a top 10. I mean, top 10. Oh my God. Oh, insane. Way too technical for me, to be honest. So I'm, I'm stoked for a top 10. I'm not sure how Lance did. Uh, seventh. Huh? Seventh. Okay. So seventh, eighth, ninth. Oh, that, good job, man. Oh, man. They're way too technical for me. I was dying, dude. Oh, how was it? Oh, man. Uh, you know what dash mode is? Brennan Wood! Done it! Brennan! Tenth place, dude! Ten! Top ten, dude. Nice. Nice work, Top gentlemen. 10, man. Which of you two guys got it? He, he fucking dropped me on that damn deal. <laughs> Big boys falling like a rock. I like it. Ride for the SoCal cyclist there. A local. All right, Brian. Good job, Brian. So Brian ends up with a 13th today. Right behind the legend, Brennan Words, Freddie O'Van, John Corson. 11th. Great company there. Way to go, Brian. How you feeling, buddy? Freaking wasted. Actually, eleven. I I was ahead of these two guys. Yeah. Yeah. These guys, thirteen, fourteen. So I tagged these two guys. <laughs> Cracked. Nice job, guys. What's up? <laughs> We're getting close to that uh, top twenty spot. How was it out there? It was uh, it was a little hard on road tires. <laughs> Those are road tires. Thirty miles in, we just rode like thirty feet, like, 30 like, feet, like, like morning, what was like fifteen psi. I think I just broke my front rim. I just stopped. Had some random people like cover my tire and wait for my CO2. High five. We're going high five. I just had I had completely uncontrollable cramps. Sadly. And it's it's hell. They're still mad. But the blood. Oh yeah, I did. I had a small crash like really early. It was fine. Okay. <laughs> there she is, ladies and yeah! Oh my god. 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 Oh my
Congratulations on all of another ride. It's not leaving any, any room for, for debate. So don't yeah. At, at what point did you want to go alone? Um, I wasn't really trying to. to um, it was on uh, going up Black Canyon. I dropped Flavia. I kind of figured um, she, uh, um, she was pulling her own on the descents quite well. She had, uh, she, I mean, she was on her tracks. I went on in, in my ethos and um, figured I would get a little bit of a head start on her on the climb and then she'd probably catch me on the descent. I never saw her again, so it was kind of unintentional, but um, yeah, it, it ended up working. Oh, now that Olympian, Flavio Olympian, Flavio Olympian, finish. Where is my demo? <laughs> I'm going to let him say it on the range. Last word. It's becoming the story of my life. Yeah. Getting back into mode. Where is she? Right. I love that girl. I think she's changing. Where is our form as Cheryl Max lives up to? So a lot of folks were saying, what? We're looking now at that day in Carolina. Outsiders, she is a huge rider. She should really be proud of that one. Is he all right? Still, not good. This year, but again, for her to even finish after that. A little bloody. Okay. She was a tad. That's match well. It's still. Uh, I rode the entire. Congrats. Great job. Uh, Make us proud. Mile 60 to 140 in the big ring. Holy smokes. Your DI2 sees? No, uh, it's uh, crash mode. Okay, so, so I stopped crash. six times and uh, no mechanics, and I was bummed because I then missed third place by a few seconds because I stopped so much to try and get it fixed. But I think you're officially... Resilience award. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get the hard woman award for sure. Still, uh, we're still bleeding through and dripping, which is... It's a little scary. We're hoping the bone is not uh, poking out. Can you feel anything or are you still on adrenaline? Adrenaline is a beautiful drug. Nice. I think you're fifth or sixth maybe? It's the hardest I've ever had to fight for fifth. Yeah, we saw you on the road. I'm bummed. I felt really good. But sometimes the guy behind you crashes into you. Is that what officially happened? Yeah, I think he's in the hospital so I ended up okay. But uh, yeah, it was like a left and then a right turn on the road and our group was falling and I was like 40 seconds back from Mo and Flavia. So I was feeling you were really up good. There. You, know? you were right there. And then uh, after group went straight and I realized we had to go right and he just hit the back of me and explosion and then I never had a little ring ever again. Can I get you guys anything? John's a former pro so I can trust him. Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Okay, let's just get Maybe there's, my there's You made a legend yeah. today. So well, keep it up. Big Maybe. fan. And I know a lot of folks are. We need more riders like you. I think yeah, attitude goes a long I mean, way in this world. I mean, it doesn't hurt that bad, yeah. but my adrenaline. And uh, is King, that's okay. someone. Who, okay. She wants water. Can you get her some water? Let's go here. Generator, and then I'm getting you know what it really got. Yeah, probably check. Why not, right? As uh, Jeffrey Roy finishes it. Podium time. But how can you not say wow? These are your champions at the Belgian Waffle Ride. Let's give a big hand. So, <laughs> I am Alex. so proud of all of you guys. Mariah Wilson, Flavia Oliveira, Tiffany Cromwell, Sarah Max, and Carolina Desendorf. These are your champions at the Belgian Waffle Ride. Pad Thai! Pad Thai! Pad Thai! It never ceases to amaze me just how good some of the best gravel and road cyclists and mountain bikers in the world can tackle your home roads, your home training grounds, and even your own Strava sections. I think this one was the biggest San Diego BWR we've ever seen. Because I got to play host, I got to see these riders and interact with them up close. 
And it wasn't because they were winners. It was because they were good people. They're fun people. They're casual people off the bike. And they're just a blast. So I can't wait to do it again. Maybe let's make our Velo-worthy experience a little bit bigger, a little bit better for everyone. Your support is the reason why I'm out there and why I'm doing these and covering these amazing races. And uh, let's eat more of that pad thai. That seems to be the winning dish. So until next time, this is Brian Coe saying stay Velo-worthy.